basically, right? So many Hollywood blockbusters, a blockbuster is like a giant film, it's like a mega film, right? So it's like it has maybe a big action movie that's like $200 million budget with all these big actors and stuff, right? Um, employs a cast and crew of 100s, right? And whereas like if it's an independent film, an independent film doesn't really need that many crew members. A skeleton crew basically means, right? Let's write this one down as well. A skeleton crew, this is an expression, right? A skeleton crew is basically few crew members, right? Small number. This is not 100. This is like 110, right? Members who are very versatile. Remember, we studied this word last class in the Blizzard class. So over here, you have one person doing three or four different things, just like Shane Davieri for Blizzard. Remember, he was the guy who was doing production, but at nighttime he was doing helping people replace their machines and stuff, right? So they're very versatile. Over here, maybe the producer is also the sound engineer, right? And maybe he's also a lawyer, right? Who's helping with all the contracts for the movie. So a skeleton crew is basically very few crew members. This is the really important part, and they're versatile. So you don't need that many people. You know, eight people, and it's a small movie, right? You're filming in one city. You're filming in one area. You don't need to go to all these different places and do all these different things, right? So, you know, and, and also this is interesting, right? When, for major productions, right? For major production means that, major means big, right? Major is the big, same thing as big. Insurance is procured. Hang on, let me just turn this on again. It's already running. <laughs> so, insurance is, how crazy is that? We're talking about movies and I'm being filmed right now. <laughs> so, so basically, insurance is procured, right? When you procure something, this is a way of saying it's being bought. Okay? Bought and received, basically. So when, you know, the act of procurement is the act of buying something, right? You, you're looking for something and buying it, basically. And you need insurance, basically, in these situations because uh, a lot of times, major productions means that maybe if it's a big action movie, or if it's a big thriller movie, stunts. stunts right? Think about it. You have explosions. You have stunt guys, right? So, so you have stuntmen flying, jumping out of cars, and like, you know, jumping out of airplanes, and all these really risky things. So even though they're stunt guys, if they get hurt, right, then you need insurance, right? So the insurance will take care of it. They can't sue you or anything like that, right? The insurance takes care of everything for these guys, right? So Shin, why don't you read through the um, the different types of uh, of crew positions that there are? Okay. The director is primarily responsible for the storytelling, creative decisions, and acting of the film. And the casting director finds actors to fill the parts in the script. This normally requires the actors' audition. The road location manager finds and manages film locations. Most pictures are shot in the controllable environment of a studio sound stage, but occasionally outdoor sequences call for filming and uh, location. The production manager manages the production budget and production schedule. They also report on behalf of the production office to the studio executives of financiers of the film. The composer creates new music for the film, usually not until post production. The art director manages the art department, which makes production sets. Cost costume designer creates the clothing for the characters in the film, or composed with the actors as well as other departments. The makeup and hair designer works closely with the costume designer in addition to create a certain look for a character. The what's this? Choreographer. Choreographer creates and coordinates the movement and dance typically for music musicals. Some films also credit the fight choreographer. 
Choreographer. Choreographer. It's a tough word to Choreographer. Okay, so, so, so over here I picked some of the really like major roles, right? So the director obviously is, you know, he is the guy who artistically is running the show. He's telling the actors, this is how I want you to look, this is how I want your voice to sound. He's deciding how is this film going to be shot, how is this scene going to be shot. A lot of times the director is also they're very deeply involved with the film crew itself. Right? You'll see a lot of times you, know, you see these pictures of Steven Spielberg behind a camera, right? So that happens a lot. So directors are usually very, very versatile people. They're usually people who, you know, when you're making an independent film, just like it's a skeleton crew, the director has to do a lot of different things. He's mixing the sound, he's editing all the film, he's doing everything basically. So directors usually are very, very highly skilled people. They're also great artists because they're, they're the true artists. You know, then you're saying the casting director, you know, the, look, the casting director is like finding the actors, right? He's basically talking to the actors, agencies, saying, okay, is he, is Tom Cruise available for six months in no, from November 2012 to, you know, April 2013? Because that's when we're going to be filming this movie. Is he good? Okay, well, we want to talk to him. We want to negotiate a contract with him to be in this movie. We, we want to give him the screenplay. And w or would you be interested in doing this? basically, right? Um, and that's only in the case of, like, Tom Cruise is a really big actor. Tom Cruise, you know, any of the Brad Pitt, these are huge actors, right? They can decide what roles they want. But, like, in Asia, generally what you see is that people have management agencies, right? And the agencies themselves, right? In Korea, I know this is what happened. An agencies gets the screenplay, and they decide, okay, you, you, and you, we think you guys are going to do this movie. Usually you're not even given a choice. Unless you're like Kimura Takoya or something like that, someone who's a huge actor, then they can be like, okay, no, I'm gonna, I decide what movies I'm gonna be in, right? So it's kind of like that. Production manager really, every single day, they're checking the budget, okay, how much money do we spend? How much money do we have left over? Very, very critical role, very, very important, right? So, you know, the composer, art director, these guys are involved with the music, all the art that's in the film. Costume designers and makeup and hair designers are really important, depending on the movie. So imagine this scary movie that we were talking about, this horror movie with Sandra Bullock, right? Imagine the ghosts, the monsters, right? You know, the makeup artist is creating, I have a friend who actually studies makeup artistry, and she's doing a course right now where they create these masks of like monsters and stuff, right? So they have to come up with ways of making it look really, really real. And even costume designers, right? You have to go take like all the measurements of the actors. Okay, Tom Cruise is like my height, let's say. So if he's wearing a lot of special props and armor and stuff, and how big does it have to be, and things like that. And the choreographer really is the movements and the dance. So this is more for like, if you have a, if you have, like musicals have choreographers, right? Because they, they basically, the dancing steps and everything like that, they create all of that, right? They're the ones that really uh, are behind teaching everyone, not only creating it, but teaching everyone what the dances are gonna look like. And fight choreographers are obviously it makes sense. Like, you know, in, in some, sometimes like if, the, um, let's say like Jackie Chan, right? Jackie Chan himself is one of the best martial artists in the world, right? So he doesn't need anyone to do his fight choreography for him. He creates all of his fight sequences. He writes everything, right? But in another movie where, let's say, Tom Cruise is doing a martial arts film, right? Maybe Jackie Chan will be brought in as a special consultant or the special fight choreographer. And Jackie Chan will have to teach Tom Cruise this is how you know, you're going to do these movements in this scene. This is how you're going to do it. This is how you're going to kick. This is how you're going to throw and stuff like that. So it's really, really interesting, um, all of this. And you know, for a lot of movies, right, you bring in outside consultants. Right? Um, it could be for anything. Right? For instance, um, you know, there was uh, the movie Jaws. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's yeah. about sharks, right? I don't know if you've ever, you've ever seen it. It's about shark attacks. Uh, the, uh, you're, I mean, so you know sharks, right? Yeah. You know, the man eating like fish, basically. It's about this huge shark, and this group of people goes to kill it because it's been eating people, right? So what they did is they, they brought in this group of people, like soldiers. In the Second World War, um, a US, an American um, destroyer, a ship, was sunk by a Japanese submarine, right? And do you know what happened? Basically, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but the people on the ship, they jumped out into the water, right? Because the ship was sinking. But that was shark-infested waters. So, basically, this is crazy, right? For, I think, for two or three days, those guys were floating there. And the sharks were circling them the whole time. 
And some people were so scared that they just went crazy and they started swimming out into the ocean. And suddenly they would just disappear under the water. The sharks would catch them and pull them under the water. So you know what they did? They, a lot of people did survive, but a lot of people were eaten over that two or three days by the sharks, right? So some of the people that, that survived, they were brought in to be consultants on the film, on, on the film for Jaws, to talk about their experience and be like, you know, what was it like? Because we want you to talk to the actors. And we want you to tell them what those feelings were like. Because the actors take that experience, and the director takes that experience, and then he has a new idea. He has a new inspiration, source of inspiration, for what this scene should look like. Right? So it's really interesting. In a lot of cases you bring in, you know, if you're, moving a, uh, if you're filming a mystery movie, a thriller, right? You might bring in detectives. Right? You can bring in a lot of people and you pay them. Right? They're your special consultants for this project. So that's just a, these are just some examples of some of the really important roles on movies. Okay? Uh, Pedro, let's start reading about production. Would you read the first production? Comment? The video production film is created and shot. More crew will be re recruited at this stage, such as the property master, script supervisor, assistant director, stills photographer, picture editor, and sound editors. These are just the most common roles in filmmaking. The production office will be free to create any unique blend of roles to suit the various responsibilities possible during the production of the film. So this is a this is very straightforward, right? Basically, as you get further into the actual production piece of it, right, which is where you know the shooting is taking place, right, where you're actually filming scenes and things like that, the pr producers have to decide, okay, how many different roles do we need, right? How many how many film crew do we need? How many special effects guys? If it's a sci-fi movie, right, you'll need a lot of people to work on special effects. Um, the the really um, the, the interesting expression over here is a unique blend. Because uh, the word unique is really rare. It's really easy, right? It means rare, right? Rare or one of a kind. One of a kind, right? But blend means, like, have you ever used a blender? Like, you know, when you put, like, fruit, a lot of different types mix. of fruit, it's a mix, right? A blend is a mix. So a rare mix or a one of a kind mix is what a unique blend is, right? So you might decide we need 50 film. We need 25 special effects, right? We need 10 artists, right? Or you might decide we need 35 film, 12 special effects, and actually we need 60 artists. These are different blends. These are different mixtures of different roles, right? Because these two are sort of unique. Right? So that's kind of you know that's really what they're trying to say. This goes into more specifics about um, you know, the, different, the different types of roles that are going. I mean, so could you read the next paragraph? A typical day sharing begins with the crew arriving on the set location by their call time. At first, we usually have their own separate call times. Since the construction, dressing, and writing can, can take many hours or even days, they are often set up in advance. The grip, lecture, and production design crews are typically a step ahead of the camera and sound departments for efficiency's sake. sake. Mm -hmm. While the scene is being filmed, they are already preparing the next one. Okay. So this is, this is just outlining for you guys what a day's shooting is like, right? So everything is sort of structured. You know, in the beginning, you have the crew arriving on the set, right, on their, their call time, right? So, you know, actors, they usually come when, when you're ready to shoot, right, when you're ready to shoot that sequence. But this, the construction, the lighting, right, if you have to set up the set, right, if you have to create a special type of set for this, they have to start working on that beforehand. Lighting is really important. If, if it's a nighttime shot, you need the lighting guys to be ready, right? And then electrical, the production, the design crews. Like, you, you know, you guys have seen a lot of, when you see behind the scenes videos of films, right? You guys have seen these guys, you know, they move on rails, they have the cameras, they have the lighting guys and everything, right? So it's really, really interesting. And, uh, you know, 